I'm Michaela LaFrac, and here are the top highlights from the governor's debate between Republican Phil Scott and Democrat Brenda Siegel. The debate started with the candidates clashing over how to reduce Vermont's emissions. Vehicle um, electrification, uh, something that I'm a big believer in, something we started with with the VW uh, settlement. Uh, we put in charging infrastructure to prepare ourselves for this. And uh, we've been making strides ever since uh, with electric public uh, buses, uh, with school buses, uh, as well as uh, trying to change our fleet in the state uh, to uh, electric vehicles. Uh, as well, weatherization, uh, another piece that we agree on. So we have to get out of the mindset that it's going to be done one electric vehicle at a time. Uh, families like mine and families across the state uh, can't afford ten or $15,000 to get an electric vehicle. Even with incentives, it's not possible. And we have to have a public utilities commission that is allowing the build of in-state renewable energy. When it comes to the opioid crisis, Siegel and Scott disagreed on one harm reduction strategy, safe injection sites. There are several city or town centers where there already is a concentrated population of people who are using um, in, injecting drugs, and that's happening in front of our children on the streets, and this is also a way to protect that. Uh, and there is, in other countries, we've used things like mobile units where we bring the harm reduction centers to the communities where it's happening. I don't believe using government injection sites uh, is the answer for Vermont, uh, not at this time, because we know what works and we need to uh, put our limited resources towards that. I don't want to take money away from those proven, the hub and spoke model and so forth that we've been successful with here in Vermont to do something with an experiment in Vermont in a rural state like Vermont in particular. Both candidates agreed the state needs more housing units, but they disagreed on how to get there. The pandemic's over. Um, so we have to go back to something that is much more reasonable something that we can afford. We can't afford everything that was provided during that time. We need to be realistic that the housing that we're putting online right now is not gonna meet the need now or in five years, and we have to make sure that we are meeting the need and having a temporary fix right now so that people remain housed. The candidates challenged each other on how to pay for their campaign promises. We have to invest, make strategic investments. One of my concerns about this administration is that you have not made those strategic investments. So I would argue that we are actually spending quite a lot of money right now by not solving these problems. And it's time for us to be responsible with Vermont taxpayer dollars. Well, I'm not saying we aren't solving this problem because I believe we are. Um, I'm asking you, because you're making all these promises, where are you going to come up with a half a billion to a billion dollars to do this? I know you're saying we're paying for it now, but there has to be a transition. You, can't, you don't have a magic switch, do you, to, to do this? 